if you can call this camping. <laughs> Just sleeping in your car like a homeless person. I am somewhere in the reddest part of the red state of Kansas. And uh, I'm at a uh, rest area. I need to go see if the facility is working. It's probably not because it's cold, which <laughs> probably means that I'm going to have to take a Humpty Dumpty on the side of the road somewhere. <laughs> Apologize for the wind. Can't do much about that. Just tuck the mic in the best I can. Let's see, where are we at? Automatic door, no smoking, no loitering. Now the door opens. Ah, where are we? We're down here on 75 Highway, north of Gate Center. There's Kansas City there, and Wichita there. I noticed when I came in an 18-wheeler and then when I got up this morning there was a SUV on the other side. Cross Timber State Park. Now oh, I have to go take care of business and yeah, sorry, you can't come in with me. Composting toilet in the rest area. I don't want to look too much inside, it's kind of gross. But, it's a very comfortable, clean facility. It's warm and not what I expected. I expected it to be cold and uncomfortable and actually not even open. But, surprise, surprise. Unfortunately, this morning, I think the adult's taking over and I'm gonna hit back. See what's what. I don't know. I had my night of fun, I guess. It's time to be responsible. So, there you go. Out into the wind. Ah, let's walk around a little bit first. See where we are. Rest area maintained by Heartland Maintenance. I know I'm shooting into the sun. <laughs> is quiet and peaceful on a Sunday morning. Uh, you know, a lot of people talk about fantasize, including myself, about the vagabond, hobo, what, nomadic lifestyle. But I think really you have to be a certain type of person. Last night as I was driving, I could see it's pretty darn lonely at times. And if you can't handle that, then don't discover it the hard way. You know, make yourself, test yourself out, see what you can do, what you can't do. And maybe it's just not for some people. I'm not saying one way or the other, and maybe my choice is being made. But. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I'm being pushed in a certain direction. And uh, I don't know, you just have to go with the flow. That SUV that I saw, 
I don't think he's camping. I think this is part of a farm next door. That get a little walk around the rest area this morning and go find something to eat and mosey my way on back. Sound like a plan, Stan? <sighs> Definitely a very small <laughs> camper. <laughs> I think I would need something much more than that, but campers are quite honestly very hard to maintain and very hard to live in. Some people try to do it and then they discover how cheaply they really are made even though they cost $100,000 plus. And so probably the better way of doing it is to build your own vehicle that way you can put in materials that over time that are not as cheap and apt to break down because quite honestly vehicles are not made to be lived in it's just the facts of life I think it's time to Check on out of here. Uh, the allure of the open road. It is so romantic. Not. I find myself in Yates Center, Kansas. And I'm looking at this. <laughs> Here in um, Yates Center, it's probably just a motel. But it's an iconic motel. It's a uh, mid-century modern. I might, um, I'm gonna explore the town square. I got my, what do you call it? <laughs> 360 camera going. Here's another motel. This one looks empty and abandoned. I guess these days there's only one room for one motel at this intersection. But the sign back there said historic downtown square. So let's go look at the historic downtown square. And maybe there'll be something to eat here. If not, we'll go somewhere else. If I can find my way to the historic downtown square, I can see the courthouse. a quilt on the side of the museum. Quilting is uh, when they put like a quilt pattern, paint a quilt pattern on the, usually on the sides of barns. There's a lot of that around here. I love these. These old towns, the quiet morning. Pitch. Oh, look at the old cars. <laughs> Wish there's a lot of quiet mornings in these kind of towns nowadays. Life in the Midwest, USA. Oh, that is a pretty courthouse. I hope I'm not going the wrong way on a one way. Public Health Department. Mexican restaurant. <laughs> very, very quiet town. I've heard of Yates Center from storm chasing. Um, a lot of these towns are familiar to me. I've, although I've never been in them. I'm scratching my head on that one. I may have passed through here because uh, I've gone storm chasing in this area before. But 
you know, you hear over and over and over again the uh, tornado warnings and stuff, severe thunderstorm, and you'll hear the names of these towns read off by that robo voice, you know, tornado warning will be affecting the city of Yates Center. I'm sure people here are not that familiar. Somebody's created a bottle tree. They call it bottle tree uh, ranch. Well, I saw one cafe over there. I don't know. That's another quilt pattern. I think I'm gonna move on and look for another place. I don't see anything that's really screaming out to me here. So. Oh. Pardon me if I butcher the name of this town, but it's Piqua, Kansas. P-I-Q-U-A is the spelling. And I've looked it up on Google Maps. It's working out here. I have internets. And this is St. Martin of Tours Catholic Church. It's not open right now. There's a graveyard in the back, too. But it's beautiful. Oh, such a gorgeous place. I'm missing the 9.30 Mass at our church right now. It's too bad they're not open. Probably got 11 a.m. Mass or so. But, um, time to move on. Look for that food. I haven't found it yet. Getting a bit of a sore throat, too. Lovely. Well, another Kansas town just passed the campground to the right. That's interesting. Iola, Kansas. Let's see what we can find in Iola. Maybe we'll find that diner. There's the uh, Golden Arches Diner, if I wanted that. <laughs> Let's see how much I want that diner there. Bye bye. these towns on a Sunday morning. Oh, this is another courthouse square. I'm not breaking out the uh, <laughs> 360 camera for every town. Ooh, yuck. They did something horrible, I think. Their courthouse either burned down or they didn't reconstruct it. They just built this ugly to happen fairly recently because that's a newish building. <laughs> I know you can't see what I'm talking about because I'm not panning over there. It's really not worth looking at. It's sad, really. I'm sure what it's uh, replaced was much better than what's there now. community center for I don't know I can catch a glimpse of it over there on the left sorry I'm just kind of reading out loud the names of things Iola <laughs> said Iola flea market but the F was gone so it's Iola Lee market it's a Lee market consignment antiques and collectibles this looks like a corner bar There's a, a reason why I think endless summer with surfboards and everything, and it's closed, so apparently the summer's over. <laughs> uh, that's a bad joke. But there's a reason why they built the old courthouses to look like castles and everything. They wanted them to project something. Allen County Courthouse. Ooh, that's nasty looking. <laughs> and when you build something that's just plain and cheap and everything, you're, you're sending an image that, I don't know, we just don't want to talk about, I love that theater over there, Iola Theater. 
like I say, I'm not. I'm trying to make a little time, so I'm not spending all the time it takes to shoot and render those videos. I have to come back someday to Iola and visit properly. South Wind Cycle and Outdoor. found the diner yet. <laughs> you know when you can find a diner is because the cars will be out front like suckling little pigs at the teats of its mother. Isn't that an image to put in your mind? I, it's not original to me. I saw it in a piece of artwork and I thought it was hilarious so I thought I would try and try and put it out there. <clears throat> Um, what is this? This is a church here. This is, um, Sunday Soups. Presbyterian Church. <laughs> well, we just passed 169. It's behind me. Uh, but the north exit is closed, so it says Detour, and up ahead is Garnet, so... Maybe we're gonna go see Garnett and then head north. So, woohoo! I'm turning around in my, this old court motel, because I think I found my suckling pig diner. Now, I don't mean to be insulting. It's just a joke, but you'll see it. <laughs> and yeah, look at this old court motel. It says vacancy. Oh, it's being used as apartments now. Oh, and the town we're in, to me, it has a very humorous name. It's called Gas. Oh, let me tilt that. Just Gas. <laughs> Which, I'm sure it's because that was the main industry in the area, but I like it. Gas. So, let's see if this uh, Suckling Pig Diner is worth anything. Here it is, Tina's place. And look at all the piglets. And a lot of piglets means that the uh, the milk must be good. <laughs> all right, let's try this place out. So you can say I'm here to get gas and gas. <laughs> and hopefully I won't be too gassy. Let's try it. I think my eyes may have been a bit bigger in my stomach. I may have to do doggy bag. Good vittles, I have to say. But I think it's time. This fun is over. I need to head on home. So.